Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at adding and subtracting negative numbers. That is often a source of confusion, but it's actually very straightforward if you follow the following rule. If we add a negative number, that is the same as subtracting the number. So 4 plus a negative 7 is the same as 4 minus 7. But if you subtract a negative number, that is the same as adding the opposite of the number. In other words, 4 minus a minus 7 is the same as 4 plus 7. Using those rules, let's do the following examples. Again, we need to follow the order of operations. We want to work the parentheses first from the inside to the outside. This can now be written as 7 minus 3 minus 9 is a minus 6. And then we have a minus 6 there. The next thing is we want to get rid of the parentheses. Here we're subtracting a negative number, which means that's the same as adding the number. This becomes 7 plus 6 minus 6. Of course, 6 minus 6 is 0, so this becomes 7. Here we do the same thing. We're subtracting a negative number. That's the same as adding the opposite or the positive number. This then becomes 15 plus 3 minus 20. 15 plus 3 is 18, so we get 18 minus 20, and 18 minus 20 is minus 2. Our next example, we work out what's inside the parentheses first. Minus 3 minus 2 becomes minus 5. So this can be written as 4 minus a minus 5 minus 1. Now we get rid of the parentheses. Remember that subtracting a negative number is the same as adding its opposite. This becomes 4 plus 5 minus 1. 4 plus 5 is 9. That becomes 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. Our next example here, notice we have two sets of parentheses. We work out what's inside those parentheses first. This becomes minus 3 minus 7 is minus 4, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Now we apply the negative when we subtract a negative from a negative, or with other words, I should really say we're subtracting a negative number, that's the same as adding the number. This becomes plus 4, minus times a minus 1 becomes a plus 1, or subtracting a negative 1 is the same as adding the opposite order, plus 1, plus 4 plus 1 equals plus 5. Our next example, same thing again, 5 minus 7, we subtract 7 from 5, we get a negative 2. So minus a negative 2 minus 8 minus 2 is a positive 6. Subtracting negative number is the same as adding its opposite. This becomes a positive 2 minus a positive 6 becomes 2 minus 6, and 2 minus 6 is equal to minus 4. Here we work out what's inside the parentheses first, or we work out what's inside the brackets. This becomes 6 minus... 4 minus 1, that's equal to 3 minus 9. We, you can see now that we don't need to have parentheses there because this is a positive 3. So this can now be written as 6 minus a positive 3 minus 9. Now we work out what's inside the brackets. This is equal to 6 minus a minus 6. And subtracting a negative 6 is the same as adding a 6. So this becomes 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12. And there are some nice examples to show you how to deal with adding, subtracting negative numbers. And that's how it's done.